Booyakasha, toy fans, I'm D21Beast, and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're once again looking at those Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures released by Playmates. Before you, we've got the Mutations Mix and Match Battle Shell series, Raphael with Ground Pounder Battle Shell. So this is a really weird Ninja Turtle figure that's been released. You actually are able to remove the shell off of your Ninja Turtle figure and put on this sort of mechanical, battleized, well, battle shell piece in place of his regular shell. Now, normally I don't pick up the really weird sort of Ninja Turtle action figures out there, but if Team Machines and LARPing Turtles have taught me anything, I have a hunch some variation of this figure is going to show up on the TV show. So I thought I'd go ahead and check out the toy related to it and just kind of see what he's all about. With Raphael being my favorite Ninja Turtle, I thought it'd be the perfect choice to go ahead and pick up and check out this crazy new wave of figures. But let's take a look at this packaging. As you can see here, we do have a window box packaging that does have the Ninja Turtle logo in the upper left and some transforming images of Raphael down here towards the bottom. We've got a show rendered version of Raphael here in the lower right. And then we have the figure inside and his extra pieces. On the bottom of this packaging, you can see the other figures available in this wave. Looks like they're only doing it for the turtles right now. On the back of the packaging, you've got several other product shots of Raphael, both with his regular shell and with his battle shell attached to him. Looks like he can even fly with this thing, at least if you pretend. Then on this side of the package, we have a window here, and on the other side, we have some more product images of Raphael, both in his regular shell and his battle shell. All right, guys, well, let's say we get this figure out of the box and see what he's all about. All right, toy fans, so here we have our new Raphael out of the packaging, and this is kind of an interesting figure. I'm a bit mixed on him. Uh, as we take a look at the head sculpt, you'll see that it is an animated series accurate head sculpt, which I do appreciate, but the way that the head sculpt's been formed, it appears that they did some sort of possible injection molding or something, but there are lines and creases all over the head sculpt for this figure, and it really just looks like plastic was kind of piled up on top of itself to form the shape of this head. I don't think it came out very well. Uh, we have red paint applications here on the bandana, and you're still seeing the lines through the bandana. As we come around to the back of the head, you're going to see here that the paint doesn't completely cover the bandana, so we've got some pretty glaring mold marks there for the uh, sides of the bandana tails. Um, the eyes have been painted very cleanly, I do appreciate that, and there is some white paint in there inside the mouth. Uh, from a distance, the head sculpt looks nice, but up close, it really just doesn't stand up. It's not as high as quality as we've had in the past. Coming down the figure here, you're going to notice that the trademark scar is barely on this Raphael figure. He usually has a much larger crack into his shell. I'm not sure why they decided to omit that. But he does have some clean paint here on the front of the shell. On the back of the shell, there's also some clean paint work going around. Uh, there's some interesting sculpting here on the shell as it facilitates the uh, battle shell feature, and we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, coming down the figure's arm, there's plenty of sculpted detail here with padding and line work on his uh, costume. We have some paint here on the wristband, which is nice, but of course the fingers are not painted. We're seeing that quite a bit with turtle figures these days. Um, coming down further, we've actually got some paint uh, highlighting here or insets on the uh, recessed part of the sculpted detail for the costume. And then some paint on the knee pads here and on the feet. Uh, and in this case, uh, the, it's actually a darker red plastic. They've actually painted the color for the legs and the toes on the turtle, which is nice because Playmates typically tends to skip details like that, so I'm glad that they went ahead and did that. Uh, the shell piece itself, though, um, is painted very nicely. Um, I'll show you here that we can just go ahead and pull this off, and it just hinges right off when you pull off those pieces. And underneath here, we've got a sort of battle suit, I guess, for Raphael. It's really kind of an interesting look. I never really pictured what the turtles would look like outside of their shell. And you can see here there's tons of sculpted detail underneath the shell, even though it may not be painted. And Raphael must be a fan of Robin, because I love the placement of the R on here on his costume. It really just looks like one of those classic Robin, you know, Kenner Batman figures, where Robin's got the logo on the upper chest, and he's got just a really detailed out sculpt on his body. So like I said, I'm mixed on the look of this figure. There are some interesting aspects to it, but it hasn't won me over. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with. We've already got his shell removed, and you saw it was pretty easy to get that off. Raphael comes with this battle shell flight device, I guess you can call it. I guess they did say on the box it was the ground pounder. It's actually sculpted very well. There's tons of detail all over this piece. There's some red paint applications here on the front. And as you rotate it around, you see that that is the only paint application this thing gets. I do find the uh, sculpt of this device quite interesting, though. Um, just in its base form, without really doing anything, I think it greatly resembles an HK Hunter Killer from the Terminator series. And once you put it on Raphael, I think it actually kind of looks like an ED-209. So I don't know if that was intentional from the toy makers, but being a fan of sci-fi, I'm definitely seeing some familiar design elements that I recognize from other movies I've seen in the past. Now, there is a pair of missiles that came with this flight pack. And as you can see here, uh, you just place them in the holes on these cannons. They slide right in. There is no spring lock or anything like that. These are actually flick missiles, which I was kind of surprised to see. But once you get them in here, there we go, they're set. You can just turn the pack around and then just flick the missile. And it does a nice job of flying pretty far. Now, putting this device on the Raphael figure is actually pretty easy. Much like we saw with the shell, you got these tabs here on the back. You're going to go ahead and pull them and open a hinge. And then it just slides right onto the Raphael figure. No trouble at all. And it just locks right around. There are some tabs here that need to interlock on the front. 
But once you've got them on here, this device is not falling off. And Raphael actually stands pretty nicely with this. I was kind of worried that he would be back heavy and not hold up his own weight, but he actually looks pretty uh, stable there holding this thing on his body. Now there are some additional action features here. You'll see there's a set of buttons on top of this. Uh, you can actually press these and the cannons for the flight pack actually will raise, which is kind of nice. And on the back of this ground pound flight pack, you can see that there are some turbines here and there's a hinge and you can actually fold this piece down. So whenever Raphael decides to walk instead of fly, he doesn't have this giant tail hanging off the back of him. And of course you can rotate your figure around and even collapse these arms down. And he's basically sort of in a neutral stance. I'll be honest though, with the design of this flight pack and seeing it placed on the Raphael figure, it's really not winning me over. But I will also acknowledge that I'm not the target audience for this thing. I just think it looks a little weird. It does look pretty bulky on the Raphael figure, but I can see the potential fun factor of switching out this jetpack with the shell for the Raphael figure. And let's go ahead and switch that back out just so you see how easy it is. We're gonna flip the tail up and you can actually pull these uh, tabs back. Raphael is unsheathed from his flight pack. And then on the back of the shell, you have the same tabs. You go ahead and open those up. Slide it on the Raphael figure, make sure the inner connecting tabs on the front actually lock into each other, and Raphael is once again in his turtle shell. There we go. So it's really not too bad, and it's pretty easy to transform him. As an adult, I obviously didn't have any trouble, but I don't think kids will have trouble making this change either. Height-wise, we can see that this Raphael does stand right about four and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here he is compared to the original Battleshell Raphael figure. Interesting to note that this new Raphael is just a tad bit taller than the original. And here he is compared to the original Battleshell Donatello figure. These guys actually look like they're the same height. And here he is compared to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. What? No pizza, Bob? Are you kidding me? There's no such thing as leftovers when you live with Mikey the Garbage Disposal. Sorry, dude. It's a sickness. The doctor subscribed it to me. Subscribed? Mikey, do you even listen to yourself? Ah, sorry I brought it up. Alright toy fans, well that's my review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mix and Match Battleshell Raphael figure released by Playmates in 2015. Overall this figure is really divisive for me. I like the sculpt work that the figure has underneath the shell and the flight pack, but the limited articulation and the cheap head sculpt and the overall functionality of the toy just really don't impress me. But if you're a turtle completionist or somebody who's really into all the wacky variations of turtle figures that are out there, you might enjoy giving this figure a look. For me though, I'm going to say you go ahead and give him a pass. Well thanks for watching this review guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also be sure to hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Booyakasha!